everyone again. Uh, so uh, I was asking some people about how you liked my uh, speech from the morning. And some of people said, like, it was nice, it was cool, it was very funny, but it ended so abruptly. And like, <laughs> just like ended out of nowhere. So I'm back, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to continue. Can we get back to the uh, presentation I had in the morning? Because I'm going to need that. Obviously, as I said, this is going to be a little bit more serious. Uh, we are going to talk about the vision of Mining City. We're going to talk about the new products, especially Project X, yeah. Coin X, as it is called. And before they get the presentation up, I also had, like, I spoke with a lot of people here, like, guys, what the hell? I, I mentioned my name several times. You still didn't get it like that. Two guys literally <laughs> look at the name. It's Grzegorz Rafał Rogowski. Get with the program. <laughs> I'll pick up from where I and stopped, okay? I picked up from, I'll pick up from where I stopped. So uh, in, the first, in the first part of my speech, you heard that I do not come from MLM, something that a lot of people held against me when I came to the industry. True. They said, oh, this guy, who has an unpronounceable name, doesn't come from MLM, and he comes from Poland, all the places. And like, <laughs> show that on the map. <laughs> no one knows where that is. And, uh, and I had to build an MLM company. With, obviously, we've heard from AI, we've heard from John, we've heard from our leaders. So uh, how does one go about building a company like that? Well, first of all, we knew that we had to be what AI already said. We had to be social, we had to be open, we had to be truthful, and we had to be in constant contact with our members. So the first, the first, the, well, the first department we built was obviously IT because we didn't, we couldn't do it without IT. But we already sort of had IT on, on, on standby. So, what is the first department you build? The first department you build is the customer support one. So, uh, lovely Marta here, who's the head of customer support. Please start up. Give her a round of applause, guys. Please. <laughs> She's the person. You probably, a lot of you may know her. She's the person who takes head on, she tackles head on all the problems you may have, all the questions you may have. She's the one taking care of them. And her, obviously, her people, uh, her department. And it stretches across uh, several continents because we have people working uh, for client support in Warsaw. We have people working for client support in Korea as well so that we can cover uh, the world in more or less 24 7 sort of period. So this was the first thing we built. And we started building up from that, building up from that. The company grew. Incredibly. What is the structure of Mining City, you may ask? Well, Mining City, for all intents and purposes, legally, it's me and it's the website. The rest is obviously contracted from Mindvest. And as you have seen, these guys know what they are doing. I'm not talking just about IT. I'm not talking about Martha and her great support team. But most of all, they have the know-how about the products. And the products we went to in first and foremost was Bitcoin and Bitcoin mining, right? Now, we love Bitcoin. I'm like, really love Bitcoin. I was like, I'll, I'll tell you something, like, I'll, I'll, I'll give you like a personal confession. Like, all my money is in Bitcoin, really. This is like, this is how much I believe in this. Like, honestly, <laughs> honestly, I'm, I'm holding on to this because I believe in that. Uh, but after we grew a lot, you know, like the, the, and after Hannah sent the two guys who wanted to break my legs, and uh, <laughs> we sat down and we started thinking, um, you know, like Bitcoin is a great value. What we are giving to people, they, the people like it because we, we actually deliver on our promises. You know, the system works, mining works, uh, the returns are happy, but, uh, you know, can we improve on that? I mean, like, look. This is Bitcoin. This is the king of the cryptocurrency. This is the highest market capitalization in all the industry. It's transparent. It's reliable. It, ex it allows people for financial freedom. Something that the governments hate, but people actually enjoy and love, right? Try to tax that, guys. Look, but uh, Bitcoin has its, well, I can't say its problems, but its quirks. And as, as the value of Bitcoin went up, the difficulty of mining Bitcoin also went up. 
And that's clear. Eyal just told about this, why this happened. I mean, these guys had millions of dollars in farms. Farms that were standing there, like doing nothing. They were just like derelict because Bitcoin would not afford them to make any money on that. As soon as the value went up, the difficulty went up as well, which is good for us because even as the value of Bitcoin fluctuates like it did in the current, in the last month, the, uh, the hash power of the entire network also went up. That means that people believe in Bitcoin. They believe in mining. They believe that there is intricate value to this, to this, to this coin. So they are going to stay with it. They're going to stick with it. And so are we. But there are some few things that bother us about Bitcoin. First of all, the irreversibility of a transaction. Once you send Bitcoin to someone, well, if you don't want to send you back, then that's it. It's gone. <laughs> so you better not make any mistakes when you send Bitcoin. And actually, you know what, guys? That happened to me. I once sent Bitcoin to a wrong address on the exchange. I sent it to a Bitcoin cash address. And these guys, they told me, like, well, I, we can get your Bitcoin back, but it's going to cost you 25%, and it's going to take three months. It's like, whoa, that was like, that was like one Bitcoin. I was like, guys, if I'm paying 25% of one Bitcoin, you should be doing this like right now. I mean, hell, like three months. What the? That's what happens with Bitcoin. Obviously, the privacy of transactions is limited. Well, you can see the transactions and uh, the abundance of theft. It's not just theft, it's mistakes, like honest mistakes that people do. This is new technology. A lot of people who come into new technology, they they get scared by it, they get terrified, they make stupid mistakes. I mean, I did it, anyone can do it. But as far as theft is concerned, in 2018, over a billion dollars in Bitcoin have been stolen or lost in any other way. So how can you approve of that? Oh, and then, and then there is the thing of how much Bitcoin there is. 21 million Bitcoin coins in the world available. And the last Friday, the 18 millionth Bitcoin has been mined by this guy. <laughs> so there's only 3 million Bitcoins left in the world to mine. People are holding 62%. 3 million are still to be mined. 1 million are owned by Satoshi Nakamoto, whoever he is. Satoshi, are you in the room? <laughs> oh, hi! I didn't. It's an honor. <laughs> Four million is gone. It's just gone. It's just lost. Some reason. And they have actually people in China looking through all other old computers, looking for derelict Bitcoin that may be left in there. It's amazing. And then there is the one thing about Bitcoin that we could really improve upon. 61% of all Bitcoin is owned by only... 0.06% of wallets. You know that? There's like five guys controlling the entire industry. Five guys. For us, it's just that 39% of all Bitcoin is left for us. Even less of that to mine. Um, that is called an uneven distribution, guys. <laughs> 11 million Bitcoin is owned by just 0.06% of people. That's but those people are very, very clever people. Apart from, you know, just being a Satoshi, the guy who actually invented it all, we are talking about early adapters. People who were not afraid to go all in as soon as they heard about that. So, you know, we can't blame them for being clever. We can't blame them for jumping on the bandwagon as soon as they heard about it. I mean, this is what we are trying to do right now. But only, we had like, not a lot left. <laughs> And obviously, we have looked at how can we improve that. So we came up with an idea of a separate coin, a Bitcoin project X. We knew that we can do that because, like, there are many coins appearing, but they lack two things. The industry that stands behind them and the economy of scale that stands behind them. I mean, as you can see above, the market capitalization of the coin is about half of the ether hash power used to procure that coin. We have the power. We have the industry. We have the mining machines. And we have you guys. We have like the greatest 
the greatest members in the world. All he can do is that. Yeah, Satoshi Nakamoto said that, but yeah, he's got 11 billion Bitcoin. Yeah. I suppose if I had so much money, whatever I would say would be brilliant. But he is right. The price is somehow related to the cost of procurement. And if the price, if the value of a coin is above the price of what you can procure it for, then you create additional value. And people will flock. The, price, the, the, the coin will be interesting. The coin will be traded. The coin will be profitable. It will make money for you. So how can we get a coin and get this coin, this whole project, to make money for all of you. Mind you, I'm not talking about moving away from Bitcoin. I'm talking about improving on Bitcoin. I'm talking about making more value for you guys. Mind you, I'm still thinking about those two guys who are trying to break my legs, so yeah. <laughs> I'm like, it's all for you, Hannah. <laughs> it's all for you. So we created, well, we didn't create it, but we embraced Project X. This is the next step. This is the next product that we are going to be offering. And this product is going to offer an amazing value to our members. Now, it is a value holder. It is a coin created on the very same algorithm as Bitcoin, which means that you can use the same ASIC machines to mine it. We don't have to build a new industry. We do not have to get new machines. We do not have to invent any new chips to actually mine this coin. It is protected from theft. Because as soon as you send it to someone, you have 24 hours to revoke that transaction. Well, that means two things. First of all, it's not good for buying coffee, is it? It's like 24 hours to buy coffee. But it is a great placeholder for value. And it is a great, great way to keep your transactions safe. And the third most important thing, we are not Satoshi Nakamoto. We already have members. We already have machines. We create a new mining network for this with a new hash rate. We set our own difficulty level. As soon as you guys come in on board and buy the packages, it's a first come, first serve basis you get more rewards out of your packages. You get more rewards out of the plans you buy for Bitcoin Project X. This is because, this is because at the very beginning, there's no one else but us mining it here. That means the value can go up by 5,000%. And we feel it's possible. By the end of this year, if we play our cards right, we can actually create a value of a coin that is well beyond the $100. And then we can only go up. Do you know why? After 12 months of Bitcoin, we only had, you know how many wallets there were after 12 months when Bitcoin first started? How many wallets there were opened in Bitcoin? 478. 478 people only believed in Bitcoin. They bought it, they opened up the wallet, and they actually invested in this industry. I have 160,000 accounts right now. <laughs> Guys, if only a third of them go into this, we have just created not just industry, but economy. And this is an open source project. This coin will be traded on the stock exchanges. This coin Oh, you will be able to buy something for this coin. You will be actually able to buy new plants in Mining City for the, with this coin. Do you know what that means? This coin will be traded. It will be exchanged. It will go into work. With 130,000 accounts, 160,000 accounts, whatever amount we're about to sell, this will create the economy of scale that is necessary for the value to go up. And then we open it to the world. If they take it from us, they will only create more hype for us, more value, more money for everyone in this room as well. This is the project we have been working on very closely with the guys from Korea and uh, with guys from uh, all over the world, actually, because everyone chips in something. 
we knew that we wanted one thing that is very important for every one of our members, for us as well, even distribution. We wanted this to be fair. We wanted this like, with Bitcoin, I cannot jump, you know, like the, the, the bar is set here. We're on this, you can only jump as high as this bar is set, right? It's like the, 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 the chips are already laid on the table. We're playing with the cards that we have been dealt, and we're playing it good. But this, this is the game we set up all on our own. This is a game changer for everyone. Obviously, as I said, we're doing it with the equipment that we already have, so we can easily revert to other plans because we'll still be selling Bitcoin. We still believe in Bitcoin. We will be doing that. And the reason to get into this project on the early stages of development is because it brings you in more rewards. It's like AL said, this pizza we're sitting to right now, it's a huge pizza and only we are invited, not the rest of the world. And there will be enough huge slices for everyone. Later on, yeah, it may get smaller, the difficulty may get more, you know, difficulty may make it higher, it's going to be used more, but it still is going to be a great, great value, especially for ones who start with it. But that's just the project X. This is just the one thing we're going to do. I spoke about uh, Mining City, and I said that our stratospheric rise has become when we started with uh, promotions, right? Promotions. Promotions, actually, people love promotions. Yes. Yes. So we're going to have promotions again. <laughs> Obviously, we are here. Uh, obviously, the, 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 the current promotion is going to end. Now we are going to actually, we are going head in, into Project X. So we are going to connect our promotions with Project X. So everyone who ever bought a golden plan or is going to buy one until the end of the year will get an airdrop of Project X coin. So those of you who have golden plans don't even have to mine it initially, you're going to get some. Regardless of if you buy a golden plan with CoinX now, or you buy the golden plan with Bitcoin, you're going to get CoinX Elbow. So that's, and that's, and that's for the people who bought in the past and people who are going to buy until the end of the year. We also, we also control the value of Bitcoin and we control the difficulty of the hash rate. We control that through looking very carefully at what's happening on the market. AI just talked about it. So we will be extending the mining period for everyone who bought in the past and everyone who's going to buy until the end of the year. So this promotion actually gets to the people in the past and gets to the people until the end of the year as well. Now, yes. Uh, now, uh, just just to be clear, next week we have a huge event in Japan, and we are going to announce exactly how much of the airdrop is going to go, how long we're going to prolong the mining period for, but whatever we're going to do with that, and how we're going to work it out, please remember, trust me, believe me, we're doing this in mind with you and most important things, so we can provide for you something that is useful, valuable to you, and something that we can honestly deliver. Something that we can honestly share with you, honestly give away to you. So this is, this is, this is, this is the things that we are going to do uh, with Mining City in the, coming, in the coming months. There's also one more thing that we'll be doing, and this is something you're just going to have to look out for, because I am just announcing it here for the first time, and uh, the details are not worked out yet, but this is something we've been working on very hard for the last few months. We are going to create a debit card with Visa. That you can use. So, uh, as a new product, as a new product, and uh, hopefully that's going to help you sell, actually turn your assets into money and help you actually uh, and help you with your interaction with Mining City. So please, please, the pre-orders on that may actually already start in November. Wow. So uh, it's, uh, it's, it's been a long time coming, and, but we hope that it's going to come soon. Well, you know what? It's, uh, you guys like really 
it's really difficult. Like, I like people coming to our office and seeing what we do. It's, uh, at the very beginning, we're very apprehensive about that because we have people working there. You can come in, you know, it's just like, you're disrupting, disrupting the world. You're like, everyone's taking the pictures of, ah. <laughs> but you know what? I, like so many of you don't really know what's going on behind the scenes. And there's a lot of work going behind the scenes. There's like teams of people working really hard you know, and I really have to appreciate them. I just like, they are represented here by Carolina and by, uh, by Marta, obviously. But it is an incredible amount of hard work of many people to bring to you good products, value, and quality. For example, like, guys, like it's for you, really. <laughs> like, uh, soon we will be presenting the new website, and I've been talking about it for months now. For months, really. I'm, I'm sick about doing like a new website, a new website, a new website. We started this in the beginning of this year. And through all this time, we are catching up. We're catching up with the industry. We're catching up with ourselves, with the amount of, uh, with the amount of, 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 of accounts we have to open. We're playing the catch-up. So we hired enough people. We've uh, created an incredible IT department and all the other departments that have access, like graphics department, media department. The, <laughs> the client support, and they all came up with a, with, a, with a great website that you can all enjoy very soon. But uh, it's, it's getting like, it's always getting delayed because we don't want to play catch up anymore. We want this to be what you deserve, and we want this to be like the, the pinnacle of what we can deliver. So you get the website, you already have like the product, which is perfect. But you'll have to have a website to this product, which is perfect. And you're going to have like additional products as well that, that are perfect. Starting with Project X, which, as I say, the first come, first serve. If you're there in the very beginning with us, you are going to get a lot more value out of it. I promise you. This is, it's just math. It's not even, it's not even, it's not even marketing. That's just like pure calculation. Second thing is we are going to continue with the promotion and we are going to promote Project X because we want it to grow in value and by doing that, by including it in promotions, it is going to raise more value for you and it's going to be more valuable for you. And obviously, the new website and the new debit card. So please,